concepts linked with the binomial expansion uh, of the indices with the fraction or or with like some negative values. So let's say if I'm expanding the one plus x to the power n format. Now generally what happened is that uh, we got a fixed formula for this, the expansion of one plus x to the power n. We can use it as one plus nx uh, plus n n times n minus one or two factorial x square plus n n minus one n minus two over three factorial x cube and so on. Now this is an infinite series. There is no end to this. So this is this is really important that we talk about the validity of this this experiment or this value of this uh, expansion. Now a common uh, reasoning here is that how I'm going to use this expression. So let's say if I have been asked to find out the value of 1.9 uh, to the power of, let's say, minus 5. Okay, I can expand this uh, with 1 plus x to the power n by taking n as minus 5. But uh, it, it also is important that what x values I take, because if my x values are large, let's say, for example, if I link up here, it is x is 0.9. Uh, 1 plus 0.9 raised to minus 5. So I take x as 0.9 actually. So if I plug x as 0 0.9, 0 0.9 square, 0 0.9 cube, and so on, that value becomes smaller and smaller. And eventually it converges. The, the value, this value which you'll get using this series will be finite. So that's where I get to uh, now be very careful what x values it is valid for. So anytime you define for a negative indices or a rational indices, you're gonna write down the, the uh, range of x values for which it is valid. And as a rule, you can say that this is like more of like geometric series convergence. If I look at the power of x, if x is between negative one and one, as you know that x, ten, x to the power n tends to, uh, as n tends uh, to, n tends to infinity, x to the power n tends to zero for these x values. It's like if I take x as 0 0.5, 0 0.5 to the power, let's say mm -hmm. uh, infinity is, is zero. So that's the logic of convergence here. Now I'm just gonna uh, rewrite the same formula for um, the expansion and, and just make some more conditions clear. So as we uh, you know the formula is n n minus one uh, over two factorial x square and so on. Now this uh, expression is valid when you got one here, you got one. It is not valid if you have any other number. And uh, this expression is valid when n is rational uh, or, or um, uh, fractional indices uh, or even negative. So now let us take an example where I have to expand, let's say two, x, two plus x to the power five, negative five. Now in such case, um, what, what I do is, I'm, I'm just going to first convert it to, into the standard form. Okay, so I'm going to first take this two common. Uh, so that's going to be one plus x over two to the power negative five. And uh, this minus five belongs to the, the power belongs to this as well. So you got um, two to the power negative five, one plus x over two to the power minus five. And this is nothing but uh, one over uh, 32. Uh, so this is what what I got to expand now. Now, once you compare the values here now, we got one here and we got X being replaced by X by two. So that's fair enough. Now I'm gonna put the values. So one over 32 as it is, don't touch it. Now my first number is one, that as it is. I'm gonna take N is on negative five. So negative five and X is X over two. So X is X over two plus um, negative five. Uh, negative five minus one is negative six over two factorial, which is two. And uh, let's say it's gonna be X over two, the whole square. And next term will be negative five, negative six, negative seven over three factorial, which is six, uh, X over two, the whole, let's say cube and so on. So I'm gonna simplify this expression now. So this, after you simplify, it is one over 32, uh, uh, it is one minus 2.5 X. Then this is negative two get canceled and you get uh, five threes are um, 15, 15 over four. So plus 15 over four uh, X square 
then you got a six and six getting canceled from here, but uh, you are, you're going to get negative uh, 35 negative. Uh, this is going to be divided by eight. So it is going to be negative uh, 35 X cube over eight. So this is how you write down the basic expansion of the any for fractional indices. But now this expression that you've written might be meaningless until until you write the condition of convergence. Now condition of convergence here is okay that this number, whatever it is here, uh, including the sign, even though it was negative, you could write down, okay, absolute value of x by two is less than one. So this is what is required condition. Now, if that I consider it is x by two should be between minus one and one, and that means x should be between minus two and two. So I, if I take any x values that is between these two, um, uh, uh, negative two and two, it, this series can be used to find out that value. Now, for example, if I wanted to find a 2.1 to the power negative five, can I use this series? Yes, of course, because my x value, if I look at here is two plus 0.1 is to minus five. So x is actually point, my point 0.5, which is between minus two and two. So you can just plug in and depending upon how many significant figure or how many decimal places you want the answer to be correct, you can use the future series like future terms as well. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one more example where you got, uh, let's say uh, partial fraction